All right, in our final analysis video, we're gonna go over how to do ANOVA analysis. ANOVA stands for Analysis of Variance, and it's very similar to an independent sample t-test. In the case of ANOVA, however, we can look at, we can compare continuous variables and categorical variables that have more than two categories. So if we look at our survey, we can look at questions such as number three, 10, and 11, since they are all categorical questions that have more than two categories. In our first example, we're gonna look at question number three, during which part of the day have you normally visited AFC? And we're gonna compare it to the average importance of physical enjoyment. So if we go into our data set, we're gonna go ahead and make our new worksheet. And just like we did for independent sample t-tests, we're gonna copy over our categorical variable first, which in this case is day part. And then we're gonna copy over our continuous variable, which is enjoyment. We're gonna sort the data the same way we did for independent sample t-tests. We wanna expand the selection. And we'll see again, kind of the continuous data is split based into the three categories. So we have the data for category one, two, and three. And when doing ANOVA, we need to separate the data based on the category, and we're gonna put the data into its own column. So each category is gonna have its own column of data. So for example, the data that, associ that is associated with category one is gonna be in its own column, same for categories two and three. So you can either do this in the same worksheet or in a new worksheet. I personally find it easier to do it in a new worksheet just to keep everything organized. So we're only going to copy data over from column B. So what we're going to do is first copy over the continuous data associated with the first category. So we're going to scroll down until the one stop. copy that data over. We're going to do the same thing for category two. And again for category three. And we're going to stop highlighting the data in column B when the data in column A stops. So since we have three categories, which we should have three columns of data. And now let's open our data analysis tool pack and the type of analysis we're gonna run is ANOVA single factor. Our input range is gonna be all three columns. So what you're gonna do is highlight all three columns and keep scrolling down until the data stops. And you wanna make sure that all three columns stay highlighted. We're gonna stop right here. Go ahead and select okay. And again, we're gonna get a table open up in a new worksheet. We want to focus on our p-value, which in this case is 0 0.78, which means that there is no significant difference between the averages for these three groups. We can see the groups right here. These are our categories, and the average is on the scale right here. And if you looked back at our code book, we could see what each of these columns is referring to in terms of the answers and the categorical questions. So we'll go ahead and do one more example. This time we're gonna look at education levels and the average importance of general health and fitness. So we're gonna go ahead and make our new worksheet and copy over our categorical variable first, which is education and fitness. Again, we're gonna sort the data based on the categorical variable. So make sure that you expand your selection and just like we did before, we are going to separate the data based on each category. And in this case, we have six categories in this question. So let's make our new worksheet and we're gonna copy over the data first for category one. And then for category two. Three. four, five, and six. And since we had six, cat six categories, we wanna make sure that we have six columns of data, which we do. And now let's open our data analysis tool pack. And again, we want to do ANOVA single factor. 
Our input range again is going to include data in all six columns. So go ahead and keep scrolling down until the data stops, making sure that all six columns stay highlighted. Select OK, and we'll see our table. And our p-value in this example is 0.12. So again, there is no significant difference between the averages of those groups. And the same thing as before, we see the six groups right here and the averages right here. And that's all we're going to cover for ANOVA analysis. And this concludes the Excel analysis video series.